Turning now to your first alert forecast, we're looking at some of those fall temperatures returning here to the Midlands. And let me tell you, it definitely feels nice after dealing with so much tropical related weather lately. So we're going to check in now with meteorologist Chandler Jordan. Mm -hmm. Chandler, very glad to see the fall feels. Yeah, it's the next big thing. You know, we've been talking about this fall like air since this time last week. <laughs> and so it's finally on our doorstep. Yeah. And the good news too is it kind of protects us from Milton. So mm -hmm. I think it's a win-win scenario for us here in the Carolinas and we'll talk about that over the next few minutes how it's set to protect us from Milton but temperatures themselves still warm today look at that your high temperature this afternoon 88 degrees so we're still going to have a summer like feel out there even for Tuesday not bad highs around 80 and then Wednesday Thursday Friday this fall like air settles into the Carolinas so here's our boundary on first alert satellite and radar this morning dropping into the Carolinas as we speak here's Milton in the Gulf of Mexico so as Milton spreads towards Florida by Wednesday and Thursday our boundary is going to be offshore at that point and these boundaries essentially act like a gate and will be a steering mechanism to keep Milton away from the Carolina. So that's some fantastic news that we can keep this storm at bay. Now out there for us this morning as you get ready to head out the door and get the day started above the fog that we have at the surface clear to mostly clear skies. That's what we're going to watch out for over the next few hours out there from our transmitter camera, though you can tell where we don't really have too much fog in place in the clear to mostly clear skies that allowed for temperatures to cool off overnight and into this morning. A little bit of fog for you out there right now in Manning, Lancaster as well. You've got some thicker fog that you, you're dealing with at the moment. For the rest of us, temperatures are in the low 60s as we wake up and get the day started, and then we heat up very, very fast. Our cold front that's dropping in as it arrives along the leading edge of the boundary, our air compresses. That's why we heat up so fast today into the mid and upper 80s. It'll feel summer like out there as well. We don't really have a ton of relief in the form of less humidity either. That's not going to happen until we get on the backside of our boundary, but it's still going to feel great outside. Honestly, with how warm it's going to be today, I'd say if you want to try and get a last taste of summer in the pool. Not bad idea. Lake not going to be a bad idea. The river walk either. Or if you're just hoping to catch up on some yard work and spend some time outside today going to be awesome. And even throughout this week, our weather remains fantastic. So here's first alert feature cast. We'll pick it up out there this morning at eight o'clock. It still shows where we have some of this fog in place. And then notice as we get into the afternoon, we're right along the leading edge of our boundary. Our air compresses and it squeezes out temperatures into the mid and upper 80s all across the Midlands. So we have a warm day ahead of us. And then here on first alert feature cast drops in our boundary. You'll notice it by this evening building in from the upstate along the leading edge of it. One or two stray showers can't be ruled out. As a matter of fact, we've got a 20% chance in the forecast tonight. I think a couple of us out there get some rain as we're heading to bed with this boundary dropping through. It's very moisture starved though, which is why a lot of us won't get any rain from this system. We'll still wake up with some clouds out there for your Tuesday morning. Temperatures are still going to be about where they are today. Hanging out in the low 60s as we wake up on Tuesday. Once we hit your afternoon, we're a touch cooler as the boundary moves offshore. Highs around 80 degrees Tuesday afternoon, and then we really get this cooler air to settle in Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. Check it out. We're waking up in the mid 50s out there on Wednesday and it gets even better as the week rolls on Thursday, Friday lows eventually falling into the upper 40s. Now with Milton to our south Wednesday and Thursday, we will have some additional clouds, but once again, the boundary will help to keep the storm at bay and then we have a fantastic weekend ahead. Once again, we'll go two straight weekends in a row with some great weather Saturday and Sunday temperatures. Jordan set to top out in the 80s.